busy looking for the next top model Who's wearing something new or something old and something borrowed I know this crazy life can be a bit of I'm in the Efford Massive for a bit. Um, I've had a look round here, sadly, the girls on the said, Oh, you got to look round Efford, see if you can find us a target. And I'm like, I'm going to find a target in Efford, a homeowner in tar an Efford, man. I'm really. They even know they've got a little posh area of Efford. And they said, Oh, we're going to go in, we're going to go look into the Ernie Settle Massive and all this. And I'm just like, What are you going to find in Ernie Settle, man, apart from a couple of chaps? So I've just like come round here for the day now, seeing I've been placed here by Penland and. Asbo and having a look round to see really if I can find any places worth what you call robbing around here, mate. And we've got the Popo literally just 100 yards from me over there, mate, probably waiting for me to make a wrong move, mate, and going to nick me for something. So I've got to have a look round and see what I can find in it. They also told me to keep a low profile, mate, and I said I'll try and keep a low profile. I just watched the last apart, mate, saw some kids with some fruit pastels. Threatened they didn't give me it. I tell their mums they were smoking and they gave me a packet of fruit pastels for free, mate. I'm well happy with that. So, didn't have to pay a penny for these, mate, because they thought I was going to grasp them up for smoking when they weren't even smoking. Who's going to believe kids smoke, mate? I mean, all right, I did start at a young age, mate. I started when I was 12, and pretty much I only started because I was trying to impress a really fit bird into smoking and things, and I used it as a way to like get, you know, when I was that age to kind of like get closer to her kind of thing, and it did actually work quite well. I mean, the girl actually stayed, well, well I suppose when I turned 13, me and her did have sex, but it was only the one off, you know, but proper, I did get in a knickers eventually, but saying I smoke, mate, proper, the one chat line, do you have a cigarette? I've got a cigarette, babes, but you see, I can act really, 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 really polite if I want to, mate, this is my impersonation, me being polite to someone, mate. Hello there, sweetheart, you alright then? Oh, why, why are you out this time of night? You must be freezing, mate, you must be freezing, and people, you know, it's like everyone loves the caring guy routine, you know, the, 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 the caring, considerate guy that loves the uh, vulnerable person that needs support from a complete stranger, even if he is a bit of a dickhead like me, mate. So, I don't know, mate, what's this place called here for a bit of crime? Highfield Close. It's a Cody sack, mate. Normally, Cody, snobs live on Cody sack, so. You know something, mate, right? apart from robbing my little fruit pastels, mate, I'm actually quite bored. I'm thinking of going a bit off course, actually, and perhaps go and mug someone or something like that. Because there's just nothing going on here for me at all. I mean, I'm not, all I'm finding is to mug rob houses to rob a little load of pensioners, mate, and uh, they should be fucking grateful, mate, because I'm one of the lucky few that doesn't target old age pensioners, mate, because I don't like targeting the old, elderly people, mate. I mean, I'm not like that. I'd like to target the dimwit people with all the money, mate. I'm like Robin Hood, get, taking from the rich and giving to the needy, mate. And I'm proud of that, mate. I really am proud of that. Bus, mate. Number eight, mate. Number eight, 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 mate. Proper one fat lady. So this is like the Efford Massive, mate. And there's a fucking cop car up there, mate. These coppers, they're watching me, mate. I'm going to let the others know, mate, because obviously there's something going on here, mate. Because these lot are not happy bunnies to see me around here. And pretty much, mate, when that happens, mate, I know there's problems. So, like, I'm just going to get myself on a bus, mate, and get out of here, mate, and warn, warn the girls that I'm being watched by bobbies, mate, because I ain't got time for the old bill, mate. I'm not scared of the police, mate, but even I've got no time for that. All right, mate, how are you doing? I've had a look around, mate, and just been, like, trying to find some jobs and things like that. This place is full of old bill, mate. I think they, uh... On to me, but I did steal some kids' fruit pastels, so that's probably why they're around, mate. You've got a place to look into, mate, and only settle. That sounds good to me. That sounds definitely good to me. Right, mate, I'm not sitting around here too long, mate, because I think the old bell are on to me, mate, and I don't like the old bell, if you know what I mean. So, proper, I'll see you soon, mate. You know what I mean? It's. I want to get out of here, mate, because it's just fellow old age pensioners, mate, and that's about it. Proper, not even a fit bird around here. A couple of bit of pussy cats, but that's about it. So, pretty much, mate, I'm meeting the girls now, mate. We're going to probably do a bit of shopping, mate, get ourselves some equipment. Obviously, we need some fluorescent jackets and uh, things that make us look like we're builders or road surface people, mate. That's what we're thinking of hitting it on, mate. The rule is, mate, is we're going to go into people and just say to them things like, your road is a problem, and if not, you're liable to be fined, like, so much for it, mate. But offer them a free one-day offer deal, we'll do it for a special price, giving people that pressure that they've got to buy from us or risk getting fined a lot more while we're trying to do them a favour. 
So that is the plan of the day. And apparently there's this uh, bloke in only settle and I think, we think he might fall for it. He seems a gullible enough person. So we're gonna like, uh, or me or Alex or me or Becky are gonna impersonate being what we call road surface experts. And we're gonna con convince him that he should be having his road done. So it's like, we're all meeting them up here in a minute because I just don't feel right with the old bill following me everywhere, mate. Damn pigs. Can't stand coppers, mate. Coppers are the main problems, hell, per se. So, like, I'm gonna proper get on, get get myself out of this place, mate. Come on, mate. I feel a bit cooperative at the moment, so, yeah, mate, that's the plan, innit?